All right. So good evening, everyone. Thanks for being here tonight. I do appreciate it. Rick, Ed, thanks for being here. Um, how many of you, if, is anyone here, this is the first time you've ever been to Hit and Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options uh, webinar? Anybody here that's brand new, just type in a Y. I'd like to welcome you here if this is the first time. KG, Linda, Rich, Scott, welcome. Thanks for coming tonight. Um, let me tell you just a real quick, um, quick note about me. Um, I'm a real, I, I'm a price action guy. I'm a, I'm a very purist price action guy. I use very few indicators, um, sometimes uh, none. As a matter of fact, um, what I'm going to show you tonight is a chart. Um, you'll see a lot of it tonight that I call the naked chart. Um, it has um, no indicators whatsoever on the chart. I just simply draw the chart up, support, resistance, and trend. And I can tell you it was, it was when I started getting very simple in my trading, understanding charts, chart patterns, understanding that, um, you know, predicting was a waste of time. And all I really needed to do was learn how to read the chart effectively and learn to follow it. Um, it changed my life. And um, I've been, I'm, I'm heading in now on 14 years as a full time trader, I got to tell you guys, um, it's it's worth learning. It takes some a lot of time, dedication, education. But it's very, very worth doing. And one of the reasons I chose this subject tonight, repeating patterns that every trader should know, is because I believe there is some tremendous opportunity coming um, in the very near future here in the market. And what do I mean by that? <clears throat> when a market corrects like we've had, then all, all these great stocks that have been... Um, you know, really, really expensive are now on sale. And the trick is getting into those trades at the right time. Now, one of the things I want to point out here first is that bottoms, just like a, a market top, is a process. Okay. Notice right here that the real nasty sell off didn't occur until almost three months after the top. Okay, if we go back here in time just a little bit, go back here to um, uh, February of 2018, you can see that selling that occurred here took a lot of time before we really started to recover. Okay, now there are factors that changes that. Of course, any news related items or things can certainly change how the market will react to this. But I want you to kind of take a look at this by comparison to this. And I want everyone to notice, we all want the market to just come right back, right? Who in here just wants their doggone money back, right? <clears throat> we just want our money back. We just want to see this market recover and everything get better all of a sudden. But to be honest, that's not the way it works. It, it never has. And in, in, in any of these events that I've lived through during my life as a trader, it, that's, it's never occurred that way. In fact, I have never ever seen a true, what's called a V bottom like this in an index. Never seen one. Okay, because they're all a process of backing and filling. We have to rebuild confidence in these stocks. But the good thing is, if we pay attention to price action of these, of these stocks, there's patterns that develop in this bottoming price action that everyone needs to know because there's tremendous money to be made 
when this starts to recover. Now, I can't tell you if this is going to move on higher. I, I'm not going to predict that. What I will say is that we're approaching resistance levels here in the, in the chart that would suggest probably a rest or consolidation. But that could change based on any news that we're going to reopen the government, uh, news that um, we're going to get a deal with China. It could certainly change that. It could also go the other way. If we hear news that China is not going to agree to, uh, to some kind of a deal with us, and the market could go the other way just as quickly. Okay, so we do have to respect support resistance in, in a chart. And so you can see I draw up my charts pretty specifically for support and resistance, and I'm always watching those levels. So when I start seeing a market beginning to recover out of, out of bottoms, I start looking at stocks in a very specific way. And I'm going to talk about a couple of patterns here that are really important that, that I think everyone needs to, uh, needs to see. Have you guys noticed that over here we have a couple of patterns that everyone would recognize once I draw them out? A W bottom formation. If you go back in the past and study market bottoms, you will see this pattern a lot. A lot. You will also see a pattern that's called an inverted head and shoulders. Everyone knows what an inverted head and shoulders is. It's a pattern where the stock is dipped down, goes even lower, comes back up, and creates a secondary shoulder, just as if this is the head and two shoulders of someone upside down. It's an inverted head and shoulders pattern, an absolutely wonderful reversal pattern showing us an opportunity for a trade. And all of these patterns set up within some really simple indicators. Okay, so let me show you something that I've been looking at. And you guys could, um, if, if you want to start building a watch list of, of some of these stocks, you might want to um, take some note of these because they are starting to come back around. First off would be JD. Um, Rightway Options is actually in a position on it on JD. And JD, if you notice, is starting to to build a base, starting to build a bottom. And one of the most important patterns I think that you can recognize when a stock starts to reverse is just simply drawing the downtrend. If you draw the downtrend, notice how effective a downtrend is in showing you exactly where the stock is likely to fail. And what is required for this pattern to really work effectively is we require the stock to break the downtrend, price to rally above, prove it can hold as support, and then see buyers stepping in. Okay, the first evidence. See, a lot of folks will look at this one right here and say, well, what about this one right here? You're missing the key element in this pattern. We, you have to wait for the test to see if it'll hold it as support. Never held it as support. Filled right back through it, came back down, creating almost this W type pattern down here at the bottom. So breaking up through that downtrend, and I'll show this pattern on all kinds of charts, even in uptrending charts, breaking a, sh a short term downtrend, it's amazing the results that you can get from that but it requires the patience to wait for a test of support. Now, the reason I do that, if you guys go back and, and just remember some of the basics of, of, of trading and charting, that we, we measure an uptrend how? An uptrend rallies, and it either puts in a higher low or double bottom, something like that, and then buyers support that price level. This right here is the very first evidence of an uptrend. And until that occurs, 
we have no trade in my opinion other than pure speculation trying to buy the bottoms i used to do that i used to try to buy these bottoms i used to try to pick a pick bottoms pick tops and you know what um i lost a lot of money doing it <clears throat> so just something simple as drawing a trend line on a downtrend and waiting for the stock to prove it can hold it as support is a huge improvement in the trade. We finally right here have a little tiny evidence of an uptrend. And now we have to start working through the price pattern. If you guys will notice, I'll draw this line right in here right now. Nice straight line right here breaking up through this price level okay breaking up through this price level we need to see this stock price hold either consolidate or pull back and hold above that price level and stay within that trend one of the things that I figured out a long time ago and I don't know why this isn't in books or anything like that. But the easiest way to make money in the market is to find a trending chart and just wait for the next entry. Not try to predict the entry. Not try to gamble that there's an entry here. To wait for the next entry. To wait until those buyers prove they're, they're going to hold a price level in here and we're going to see that activity start to pick up. Okay, so JD is one of those charts I think everyone should be kind of keeping an eye on. Now JD is going to be affected by um, negotiations with China. Yeah, picking bottoms, you end up with smelly fingers. That's right. <clears throat> um, and there's several ways that you can look at that, Chuck. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time with this chart because I'm going to show you how this pattern repeats itself in multiple time frames. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a... a group of moving averages on the chart. Now this is this is what I call my T-line chart. Um, if you look at my moving averages here, this black moving average is the eight exponential moving average. Uh, Rick Sadler, um, he's he's up there in the room. He's the, he actually has the copyright on the T-line. He is the guy who created the T-line. And it's, it's just an eight exponential moving average. Also on here, I have a 34 exponential moving average. I have a 20 ex, uh, simple moving average, a 50 simple, and a 200 simple moving average that I'm showing on the chart. And Rick came up with this pattern <clears throat> a long time ago. And he calls it the round of bottom breakout pattern. I got to tell you guys, the round of bottom breakout pattern is one of the most profitable trading patterns I've ever traded. Hands down, one of the best patterns I've ever traded. And let me explain the pattern here just a little bit. And then I'm going to back it up and show you how this pattern repeats itself. If you're one of those folks that like to get in a little bit early, or you want to try and time things a little bit earlier, there's a way that you can do that with this chart. It's fan it's a fantastic chart. <clears throat> and you know, all in 20 in 2017, there was virtually no round of bottom breakout patterns. Because all we did was go straight up. We just went up and up and up and up. And I'm excited to see the round of bottom breakouts coming back. It takes a market correction, it takes a little pullback for that to occur. And then these patterns start to develop. Okay, so let me let me remove price here for just a second and let me show you how I explain it to folks or what is important to me about the round of bottom breakout. <clears throat> Take these moving averages and notice that these moving averages are starting to turn and round out a bottom. If you've ever studied technical analysis at all, you've heard the term moving average squeeze. 
Everyone's heard a moving average squeeze, right? So when all these moving averages come together in a very tight point, a very tight area, and they're providing some price support for the stock. At least that's what you hope it's going to do is provide some of that price support. Now the round of bottom breakout the way um, it, it's described by Rick is the stock needs to break above that 50 day moving average. That's the breakout part. You get the rounding part and then you get the breakout. <clears throat> okay. That breakout, we want to see, this is how I like to trade it. I want to see that breakout exist, happen, and then I want to either see a pullback to hold a support or a consolidation to prove that buyers are going to hold that level. And then I want to see that pop, those buyers coming in to support that level. By the way, um, everyone that's listened to me before, I trade basically two patterns in the market. I've built a career on two patterns. First off, every time I trade, I trade a trend, okay? Stock's trending. Stock moves up and pulls back. I wait for buyers to step in at or near trend and at or near price support. That's pattern number one. Pattern number two, stock moves up and consolidates back over to trend. And I wait for buyers to prove that they're stepping in to enter that trade. Now, anyone's here at right way options <clears throat> or hit and run candlesticks, you can confirm that's that's what I do. I repeat that pattern over and over and over and over. And it's the most repeatable pattern in the market I've ever there's there's no other pattern that's more repeatable than those two. I don't predict when this is going to happen. I don't even try to. I wait for it to, to occur in a stock that's proving it wants to go up or proving it wants to go down and just wait for the next entry into the trade. Okay, now the rounded bottom breakout is getting us into that trade early <clears throat> on its own where we're just getting those moving averages showing support for that stock. And then the price starts moving up through there. We have to pay attention to the price resistance in the chart. You know, for example, right in here, my first target on this position that I'm in is right up at 25. That's where I will scale part of this trade out for a profit if it works. I can hold this trade as long as this holds in this area and just continues to move up. It can move up slowly, it can move up quickly, doesn't matter to me. As long as it stays within this pattern and as those moving averages continue to roll to the upside. That's what I wanna see. Okay, let me give you an example of a completed pattern that we traded in right way options last year. This is Procter & Gamble. Okay, the same price pattern. Notice how we downtrended here in the stock. The stock turned around, broke above the 50 day moving average. Notice all of those moving averages starting to roll back over, rounding back up. My entry into the trade was here. In fact, I can show you right here those pink lines are my alerts that everyone gets to see as a member i put those alerts on my charts and i wait for the trade i literally make the trade come to me i don't predict it i make the trade perform before i enter the position and you can see this round of bottom breakout produced a trade that moved us right up the line staying within its trend, moved us right on up past that 200 day moving average. That's the ultimate target in the round of bottom breakout. Now let me explain that for just a second. The target <clears throat> in the round of bottom breakout pattern is the 200 day moving average. And that 200 day moving average needs to be above, needs to be above your 50 day moving average. That's that oversold condition that we're looking for. 
Okay. Now the true round of bottom breakout pattern requires a minimum. This is by Rick's rules. A minimum of 10% between where you would catch that entry out of that round of bottom breakout up to the 200 day moving average. Well, I want you to notice JD has 37%. Potential gain on the stock between the potential entry and the 200 day moving average. Now, <clears throat> this is how I explain this and I know Rick does it a little bit differently. When, when you measure out a move like this, obviously this was an extreme move down. By the time the stock rallies back up here, I want you to notice that that's only recovering about 50% of the down move. Are we asking this stock to do too much? It, does that seem unreasonable? that move to move up there. And I think that's one of the reasons, the power of why this works so effectively so often is because no one's expecting this to just come all the way back up. We only want to catch this really move, smooth move right up to the 200 day moving average. Okay, now I trade this with options. You can trade this using um, just stock by itself. You can trade this using options. I trade uh, most of these patterns with option trades. And I can tell you this chart right here gets me pretty excited because I know there's a potential of making about 20% just to here on an option trade where I will scale out of the position, I will watch and wait. My hope is it will move something like this, move up into here, and then it'll pull back, rest, consolidate, following my trend, and then keep on moving higher, just like that chart in JD did. So sometimes you can make multiple trades in here. If you miss the first entry into the trade, you just have to wait for the next one. You just have to wait for a next one. I'm happy, yes, when I do um, directional call options, just buying long calls, long puts, I'm always in the money. <clears throat> always in the money. Okay, I'm using it as a stock replacement and it makes for really great trades. Okay, so a very nice pattern here. But let me show you, a lot of people don't. Um, <clears throat> uh, Ogo, one of my rules is I always buy an option somewhere between about 70 and 80 deltas. About 70 to 80 deltas. <laughs> okay. Now, let's take this a little bit further. What about you guys that want to um, maybe catch these trades earlier? Is there a way you could catch this trade earlier? I'm going to take this daily chart and I'm going to go to an hourly chart. <clears throat> okay. In the hourly chart, you can see JD is really a mess. Okay, not a real clean pattern in here at all. But there are trades that show up as just this beautifully clean pattern that looks identical to the round of bottom breakout in a shorter term. Okay, let's take a look at one. Campbell's Soup. Campbell soup on an hourly chart. A real simple, easy stock to trade. It's not in the news. It's not a big newsy company at all. Producing a rounded bottom breakout pattern on an hourly chart. Notice it's the same exact pattern. That 50 hour moving average starting to roll up and flatten out those moving averages crossing up through, creating that moving average squeeze right here. Holding on to that price. And I'm just looking for a simple trade up to there.
nice percentage moves, and that rounded bottom breakout pattern will oftentimes show up early in the hourly chart. You could even use a four hour chart and find that pattern showing up over and over and over. So I will tell you, this is one of my favorite patterns to trade. One of my favorite patterns to trade. Yeah, Bob S knows that um, I've been talking about FedEx. Talked about FedEx today. There's an hourly rounded bottom breakout occurring in Federal Express. Right now. And we're just looking for a nice move right back up in here around that 200 range. And you can see if we were to measure this from in here up to that 200, we're looking at about a 19% potential move. Well, excuse me, 11% 11, 11 move on the stock. About 11% move on the stock, and that would be just a huge return in an option trade. And notice this other pattern that's showing up here on this hourly, that one of the reasons I really am going to stay focused on this chart is look at that right there. If this breaks above this level, look at this open gap. There's about 10 points that can be made if this just moves up and fills that gap. It's an outstanding pattern. And notice how it just repeats itself over and over and over. You guys, I, I can't make this stuff up, but the stock moving up through the 50, coming back and testing. It happens over and over and over. And if it doesn't come back and test, it will move up and it will consolidate and then start moving on up. Notice that what we've got going on in this hourly pattern is a trend and how consistent we're staying in that trend. It's a simple pattern, but I'm telling you guys, it takes some time to study it, to get really used to using it. But once you get onto it, it's tremendous. Uh, Steve, it all, it all depends on the timing of the chart. If I'm looking at an hourly chart, I'm gonna probably use a shorter term option than if I'm looking at a weekly chart or a daily chart. If I'm looking at a daily chart, I'm always probably going to be looking at options that are out 60 plus days to expiration. That gives me a good 30 full days of move in the stock before I start getting into a theta decay problem. <clears throat> the other thing that happens, you guys have had this happen, you think it's going to be a great trade. You buy the position, you buy too short of a position, and then the stock consolidates for about a week and a half. And you're losing money on the theta decay because you bought too short of a time. I like to buy enough time to give myself a chance of being right. I don't like to shortchange my time. And by the way, these, uh, hopefully you'll notice here, I'm going to go back to um, just another chart. Um, let's go to a daily chart. Let me show you another one I found today. <clears throat> Huntsman. Rounded bottom breakout, extreme sell-off, moving averages rolling back up. Notice this one is doing more of a push up and consolidate pattern, holding above that 50. Now th this requires that this has to hold. We don't predict right here. If this stock has to pull back a little bit below the 50, that's okay but I'm going to wait for the next entry signal proving that the buyers are going to begin a trend. I wait for the entry on the trade. I'm not worried about picking the, the perfect entry here because what I'm trying to do is catch this move in here. I don't worry about the top of this move. 
and I don't worry about the bottom of this move. I want all of this fat part right here. That's what I'm looking for. Well, NB, I don't know if you know anything about candlestick patterns or anything like that. <clears throat> But I, I've given you the pattern itself in the price action. Either we move up and pull back and buyer step in. Now, when I say buyer step in, I'm looking for a buy pattern here. Okay, I want to see a bullish engulfing. I want to see a hammer with a follow through. I want to see a kicker pattern. I want to see a morning star pattern. I want to see a bullish pattern showing up, reacting to price support and trend. The reason I want to do that is real simple. When I wait for that entry to show itself, I get a low risk entry because my stop loss can be right underneath that level. <clears throat> I don't have to take a big risk in the trade because my entry can be right below that level. I'm looking for buyers. Not necessarily looking for a specific candle pattern. I'm looking for buyers proving that they're going to hold or they're supporting that price. There's a difference between just looking for the candle pattern or trying to scan for a specific candle pattern and recognizing when buyers are supporting price. When buyers are stepping up and saying, nope, this goes no lower. And it can come out in a lot of different ways. I don't know what it's going to look like. I have no idea what it's going to look like when it does occur. I just know that if I pay attention and wait for it, I can enter that trade easily with a high probability of success. Okay, so it's critical that you wait for this pattern to develop. Don't, don't anticipate it. Don't rush it. Wait for the pattern to develop. Now, I usually go to what I call my naked chart. If I go to a naked chart here, my naked chart, and I start drawing this up. Well, here, let me just actually do the drawing on it. I would draw my downtrend here. I can see my downtrend very clearly. I can see that we've broken above the downtrend. I can see that we broke above and consolidated right there with buyers stepping in right on the trend for that next move up. Okay, right there was your first evidence of uptrend. A bullish engulfing candle setting right on the downtrend line. And then I start looking at the chart for support and resistance. I can easily draw a level right through here. You can see how price touches this area, price touches this area, price touched it right here. And when we moved up through that area, there's your entry into the trade. Now this stock is consolidating here. This 50 day moving average is right underneath it. We want this to either rest or pull back, hold this level in here and wait for the next buy entry into that trade. And when that occurs, I start looking up the chart. I just move this up. There's my next level of resistance my next target in the trade. If the stock pulls back and produces a buy signal in here someplace, I can enter that trade and allow that trade to move right on up into the next target where I might scale out part of this position. And I'm looking for that move, remember for that move, to, for this to just come back up here to the 200. Here, let me put those drawings over here on this side. So you can see it lays out an entire plan 
in my trade. I know where my stop should be. I know where I should be watching for potential resistance points to take profits and to scale out of the trade. Or simply, if, you, if you're a small trader, and let's say you can only trade one contract or, or a few shares of this or something like that, it rolls up to that level, you could just take the trade off. Nice winning trade, put money in your pocket, walk away. That's what we're here to do, right? Not predict, we're here to grow our account. Okay. Now I'm going to take this chart and I'm going to take this chart and go to an hourly. I want to show you something here on the hourly. Do you guys see this pattern right here? Here, let me remove all those lines. See that 200 day moving average above the 50 day moving average? You want to see something that's cool? Here's a rounded bottom breakout where the stock moved up, pulled back, held the 50 day moving average. Notice those moving average have, have crossed up and rounded over to the upside. There's your hourly pattern. Same chart. There's your hourly pattern. An easy trade to move into that position. When I'm looking for round of bottom breakouts, Gwen, yes. Yes, that's part of the pattern. Um, but yeah, why couldn't you use, I mean, if you're a shorter term trader, why couldn't you use an, an hourly on that? Why not? Is there, would there be any, any reason that you couldn't? I mean, can you see the trend? Did the trend work? Did it find its trend to establish its trend and stay with that trend all the way up? When we wait for the break of the downtrend, look what happened here. The break of the downtrend broke the downtrend, came back and tested the downtrend and that 50 day or that 50 hour as price support. All of the earmarks are here and the trade worked. And did you have to catch the first entry to be successful on this trade? Nope, if you miss it, just wait for the next one. Don't chase it. Just wait for the next one in the trade. Okay. How about URI? URI, breaking its downtrend. breaking above the 50 day moving average. All of our averages starting to curl up and roll over. Now all we have to do in this chart is wait and see if this is going to hold up here, prove support and buyer step in and maintain its trend. We just have to wait. We have to be patient and let the trade come to us. Notice we have a great level of support right through here in the price. Price touches it here, nearly here, right through here, and right across those tops. So a hold up in here provides us a great entry into a trade and an opportunity for this to rally up toward that 200-day moving average which is a 25% gain and great targets as it goes. Targets into this trade all the way up that you could scale out of that position.
Now, here's why I'm so excited about this pattern and why I'm talking about it today, because I truly believe soon, if, if, if it's not happening right now, soon we're going to start seeing great stocks, really great stocks producing rounded bottom breakout patterns and a lot of them. I showed you Facebook. Facebook. Breaking through that 50 day moving average. Prices trying to round themselves back out. Coming back up. How about if you like big stocks, Amazon. Amazon rounding back up through that 50 day moving average. This one doesn't set up as a round bottom breakout, but you can see those patterns in this. Good stocks starting to roll back up and show good signs. All we need now is the rest of the pullback. Whoops, my tool changed here. Wait for the rest or the pullback to confirm where that support level is before we enter that trade. Yes, BABA. Folks in BABA in our room have been trading the rounded bottom breakout on the hourly chart in BABA. You guys see the RBB that occurred right here? Break through the hourly 50, pulls back, enter that trade, moves up. There's another entry into this here, up to the 200 day moving average. All this did was come back to the mean. You guys see the big W pattern in here? And there's our entry into that trade. Now, I'm going to show you something because I truly believe what happens to a lot of traders is we overanalyze. We overanalyze. Let me show you a chart that just has nothing but three moving averages on it. This is the same chart of BABA on an hourly chart with a 34 EMA, an 8 EMA, and a 3 EMA. Can you guys see that this pattern shows us when we're on the right side of the market and when we're on the wrong side of the market here, when we should be looking to short and when we need to start looking to be long? Look how accurately it works. Cross above the 34, hold the 34, buyer step in right here. I can tell you I could make money with just these three moving averages and never seeing a candle. When the stock breaks down and comes below and we start failing at these points, works just as good for a short trade. Okay. Well, Terry, I've, I'm kind of giving you the criteria for the rounded bottom breakout, right? Price has to be breaking above the 50-day moving average. I'm giving you all the averages here. Price has to be breaking up through the 50-day moving average. This is an hourly. Let me go back to a daily. How about Home Depot? Stock needs to be reversing its downtrend. Downtrend has been broken reverses back above the 50-day moving average. Anybody see the inverted head and shoulders pattern in here? Now, all we have to do in this trade is wait for the rest, the consolidation, or the pullback to look for that entry into that trade to confirm our trend. That's all we're looking for. Confirm our trend. You could use the 34 JB if you choose to. I think the 34 actually works um, really, really well on an, on an hourly. 
And there's nothing magic about the 50-day moving average or the 34 or any of those. You can choose any moving averages you want, create this same pattern. Okay, but this is the way we use it and it just works really, really well. Okay, it's a great pattern to trade. And we're looking for those double bottoms, those inverted head and shoulders patterns. We're looking for those first higher lows in the trade. First higher lows to confirm a potential trend. We're looking for the break of the downtrend and the proof that the stock can rest above this level or hold above this level and see buyers start picking it up after that move. So one thing that's great about these trades is you don't have to rush. There's no rushing to this trade. You can plan these trades way ahead of time. Watch them every day until the, the trade develops. And that's what I mean by making the trade come to me. If this stock starts to pull back, I can tell you exactly what, I'll, what I will do. If this starts to pull back, hold in here or consolidate, I will be drawing in an alert on my chart. If price crosses through there, I'll be waiting for that trade to come to me. No predicting it. The stock has to come to me in the trade. Guys, I think there's an unbelievable opportunity coming up here in the near future. Could we see more selling? Yes. Um, like I said in the beginning, this may not be the bottom. We could see more selling, more pullback, more back and forth, more consolidation in here. But I think we're starting to see the beginnings of that bottoming pattern coming into play. I'm seeing lots of really great stocks putting together the rounded bottom breakout look. Well, I can tell you, Steve, that my win-loss ratio on these is probably better than 70%. But I will tell you, the reason it's so high is I'm extremely picky about the trades I take. I am very picky. Anyone in here from Art Right Way Options or Hit and Run Candlesticks that could probably confirm that. I am, I'm telling you, if the stock doesn't do what I want it to do, I don't play any games with it. It does what I want it to do shows me the pattern, I don't trade it. Very picky about the trades I take. And that's why my win-loss ratio stays really high. It's just I'm extremely anal about that. No predicting, waiting for the trade. Okay, let's take a look. Um, have you guys taken a look at Lowe's? Anybody see that nice W bat bottom type formation that came in here? This is our first higher low in the chart, moving this up. Now this isn't a rounded bottom breakout pattern because we've already moved above that 200, but just note right in here, if I remove all of these averages and just go to um, a naked chart with no moving averages to kind of get in a way, let's just look at the price action of this chart. This moves up through here, hits this resistance, a little bit of rest or consolidation or a pullback in here, moving back toward the trend. And this gives us an opportunity to move this stock right up into the next level. And I'm not looking for some massive recovery to come all the way back. I'm only looking for that nice, sweet, easy move right up into there. Yeah, round of bottom breakout, uh, an actual round of bottom breakout uh, by Rick's rules requires 10%. Now, I can tell you that I cheat that 10% quite a bit because I use options. You can have a stock only have about 6% or 5%. 
And I can make 15 or 20% with an option with the same pattern. But if you're trading the stock, it requires a 10% between the 50 day and the 200 day. So if you look at like that HUN, Huntsman, between here and up here, you're looking at 31%. That qualifies. That's a rounded bottom breakout of a, a, that I dream about. Okay, I saw someone, um, Aaron posted Snap. I saw Snap earlier today, popped up, popped up on my list. Snap, a little cheapy guy. Now, when I find cheapy guys like this, I don't trade the options on these. Um, options, well, I mean, honestly, how much leverage do you get trading a $6 um, stock with an option? Um, what you usually end up doing is paying an awful lot of, of implied volatility cost in the trade. But the same pattern here is very valid. First big break of the downtrend. Moving averages starting to round themselves up. Now we're waiting, we're waiting for that next entry into this trade. Could it be over here with a consolidation? Could it be this moves on up and then pulls back? I don't know. I know I can wait for it though. And when that occurs, I look for an entry into that trade and notice this one here, just coming back to that 200 day moving average, 62% on the stock. Imagine what you could do with that. You don't need that whole move. You need part of that move. Good potential charts and those bottoming patterns. I want to point this out again if you guys see this or not. Little tiny inverted head and shoulders pattern right there. It's that repeating pattern that repeats over and over and over that I look for because they're consistent. And I can make a lot of money just trading very simple patterns like that and just repeating the same trade over and over and over. Okay. Let's take a look at, I see somebody's posting EA, just a second. Let me show you Activision. Activision, clearly not above its 50 day moving average, right? What if I look at this on an hourly? Rounded bottom breakout here on the hourly pattern. Wasn't a good clean one, but there's that pattern where the averages are rounding back over and there's our trend and a trade that worked. So if you guys like to trade a little bit quicker time frames, it works there as well. Okay. Um, Aaron's mentioning EA here, EA, rounded bottom breakout. There's so many of these showing up right now, it's amazing. They're all over the place. Yeah, I mentioned when, when, rounded bottom breakout. Starting to turn, look at this big, long downtrend. And all of a sudden, we're breaking through that downtrend. Now we just need proof that it can hold it as support for an opportunity to enter that trade. Rick, the guy you see up there above, he just sold his position and lost um, LVS. He's made money on this pattern already. Moving up through here, put this on an hourly chart. You see, guys, see the same pattern? Move up through the 50, pull back, hold it as support. Buyer stepping in here. 
And all we're looking at is a beautiful trend that is staying consistent. I hope you guys are seeing this to be just a little bit different than what everyone else is putting out there. I'm not trying to predict anything. I'm not telling you that it's some super top secret, you know, you need a double backflip, 15 different indicators thing on here. I'm telling you to watch the price action and just wait for the trend to turn and look for your entries into that trade. And it doesn't matter what time frame you use. Um, yesterday, on the SPY, in a 15 minute chart, okay, I called the trade and made money on it yesterday in a 15 minute chart same pattern using the same trend price action work in the trade the trade was right here break this little consolidation area move up consolidate and the trade was right there i made like it wasn't great i made like 18 percent on a 15 minute chart same trade same pattern didn't try to pick the bottom didn't try to pick the top took money out of the market. That's my job. Okay, so you can use that price action work, that real simple price action work to identify these patterns and find those good trades that are setting up and they're setting up all over the place right now. You know, when everybody gets, you know, completely down about the market, oh, everything is terrible, everything is bad, everything is, you know, um, I, that's when I start getting excited. Because I know great charts, good stocks are going to start to rebound and I can get them cheaper and I can get more consistent profits out of them. Do you guys see the rounded bottom breakout here in Groupon? Just exactly as I described, breaks above the 50, tests down in here, holds, buyers show up, this moves on up. We're testing levels of resistance in here, right through here, testing price levels of resistance. If this consolidates or pulls back in here, it can provide the next opportunity in the trend. waiting for the trade to come to you, not you trying to predict or do any kind of fancy stuff to find the trade. Okay, um, Al, this is recorded. Yeah, I'm recording it right now. Okay. Anybody like eBay? Breaking the downtrend. Look at this long downtrend. How beautiful that downtrend was, how consistent that downtrend was. Okay? Moving up here to break that downturn, moving above that 50 day moving average, all of those averages starting to roll up here. We've created a new level of price support right through here by breaking through. Now, this just needs to prove it can hold for our next entry into that trade. Outstanding chart. Outstanding chart. For solar, whoops. For solar, rounded bottom breakout. Moving back up into that area. There, once again, inverted head and shoulders pattern. Identifying that move and breaking of the downtrend. 
a hold in here for support. By the way, guys, you notice that all of these charts I'm pointing out before the trade has happened. All of these charts could be setting up for profits, all of them. I don't know which ones will be great, which ones will be mediocre, which ones will fail. I don't know that. I just know that all of these are setting up for potential profits and I'm showing them all to you ahead of time before the trade actually is ready to go. How cool is that? You can plan for these, you can wait for these patterns to occur and they're starting to occur in so many good stocks right now. Take a look at like, um, um, oh, I was trying to remember what it was. Let's see if I can remember what it is. No, it wasn't CLX. Nah, I can't remember. Can't remember what it is. Um, I was looking at one on our shorter term time frame that just it was a freakishly beautiful um, in a potential move. LFUS. Let's take a look at LFUS. Potential of a round of bottom breakout coming. We're testing that 50 up here. We need to pop on through, prove we can hold it. Thank you, Richard. Lots of these charts showing up. And pretty soon we're going to see it in just tons and tons of charts. Take a look at Mo here. Altria. All right, and then go to an hourly chart. You guys see the potential of an hourly rounded bottom breakup setting up? How about Apple? Apple, look at this one hour downtrend. Have you ever seen a beautiful downtrend that has been so consistent in its failures. And so what we need to have on here is we need this stock to break that downtrend, hold it as support, and then see buyers picking it up. And we will see the recovery and Apple start to begin starting here on an hourly. We might be able to go to a shorter term like a 15 minute and actually see the 15 minute rounded bottom breakout that occurred right here. Break above the 50. There's the consolidation. Hold above the 50. Buyer started to step in right up to the 200. One of the best repeatable patterns I know. And I, I, I got to say thanks to, you know, my good friend Rick Sadler up there. He's the guy who kind of put this all together, put the rules to it. It is a fantastic pattern. If you'd like to learn more about this pattern, Rick has a class on it. Um, and we talk about this pattern a lot um, in the room with our members. We trade this pattern a lot. We're going to be trading a ton <laughs> in this pattern here um, in the coming months, I know. Um, will be some great profits to be made in here. And all it is, is just catching those simple reversions to a median, uh, you know, a stock sells off so big and it just has to come back. It naturally moves back to the median somewhere in the middle. And that's what we're looking for in Huntsman. Oops, H-U-N. is just a rally back up to somewhere in the middle. You guys get anything out of this tonight? I hope you did. I, I hope you see the importance of this pattern. I hope you understand why I'm so darn excited about what the future might be um, coming up in the market. Okay? Because when this pattern starts to develop, there's just going to be so many great charts to trade and, and really good companies, not, not, you know, not your junky companies. I'm talking really good companies coming back.
Hey, by the way, you guys, you can use this on a weekly as well. If you like long term trades, there will be weekly patterns of this setup as well. If you like those longer terms, fantastic patterns. If you're a position trader, like that little bit longer term trade, you can start watching for those really, really good patterns. This is, um, I wanted to show you this, that this pattern, just kind of finish up. This pattern is as much about the price action as it is those averages. I don't want everybody to just get hung up on a bunch of averages. Do you guys see the same basic kind of bottoming construction going on in this chart, even though this chart is still above the 200 day moving average? Can you guys see what's going on here? And that's that break of this downtrend that's trying to occur right here. The break of the downtrend, the pullback into here to hold the support. Uh, Scott, I use TC2000 for my charting. What you're actually seeing is the recording software that I use for the annotation tools. It's called Camtasia and, and it has drawing tools that, that I'm using for the recording software. So that's what actually what you're seeing there. But TC2000 is what I use to, to find these things. By the way, um, I don't know if anybody's interested in this at all. If you've seen something in TC2, I believe that a trader is only as good as his charts. And if you don't have charts that are showing you those great uh, or make it easy to find these kind of patterns, I really recommend you taking a look um, at something. And TC2000, I, I do some classes about it, and they've given me a coupon here. Um, if anybody's interested in it, it takes 25 bucks off an, an annual of TC2000. So check it out if you're interested. Don't care if you're, you are or aren't. But um, if, you, if you are, um, take a look at it. I think it's the best charting platform out there. And uh, for what I do, it's just, it, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I couldn't get to stocks and do near what I do if it weren't for TC2000 and, and its effectiveness. And I want to ask you guys for one more favor. No charge for this class tonight. No nothing on that. I didn't even bring up sales of any kind to you guys. If you could do me a favor, okay? If you could do me a favor and run over and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate that. Let me give you um, a subscript, uh, a link here. Just a second. I thought I had it handy, but I didn't. Let me give you a, um, a link. And the reason I, I want you, you know, if you're here for the first time, um, I do a ton of videos. I've got now almost 450 videos on YouTube. Okay, they're all free to you guys to use where I teach these kind of things um, over and over and over and show these kind of patterns and show these setups. It's all free. And if, if you would go over there to my YouTube channel and click the subscribe button and then make sure you click that bell. When you click on the subscribe button, click the bell. And what that will do is make sure that you're notified every time I load a video over there. And by the way, I load a morning video, a preparation video every single morning before the market opens. Okay, every single morning before the market opens on how to prepare what the market is setting up for for the day. So please check that out and take a look at it. Um, doesn't cost you a thing. Um, free to everyone. Plus I, I write a blog every morning and, and you'll be able to get access to that, to that link as well.
Yeah, unless I lose power. <laughs> exactly right. Hopefully there'll be no more of those blizzards this week, this winter. <laughs> so, you know, give me that subscribe on, on YouTube. I truly appreciate that. Take a look at um, what I showed you here in this round of bottom breakout. And if you guys want more information, kind of stay in touch with us here at Hit and Run Candlesticks Right Way Options because we do public e-learning sessions at least twice a month and you're always welcome to them. Okay, we'd love to have you back. We'd love to show you why we're different and why we're, we do things a little bit differently. How there's no hype in what we do. We just trade the stocks. We trade the market without a whole bunch of hype, a whole bunch of, you know, baloney. And we make money. It's probably the best thing is we make money. So, oh, thanks, Thomas. Thank you very much. So everyone, take care. Have an awesome, awesome evening. I do appreciate you being here. Um, feel free to holler at us if we can help you with your trading. We know a lot of folks are struggling right now. And if we can help you improve that trading, we'd love to help you do that. So um, I will get this video recorded or um, rendered and um, available. So it'll be posted on the website uh, probably sometime tomorrow where everybody can um, get to it. So everyone take care have an awesome awesome evening thanks for being here tonight truly appreciate it and i'll talk to you all very very soon again have a great one